Hi guys! We are about, we are nine days out from our 2017 Camino de Santiago and people have been asking us what we're going to take so I'm going to show you and then Eric's next. So the first thing we have is my Mont Bell down jacket. Um, the frost jacket. This is the older version. Um, Meg will be wearing the newer version. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces of clothing, period, let alone hiking gear. I wear it all the time. Um, those of you who have talked with me previously have seen this on the playground because it's the warmest thing out there. So I love it. And it's very lightweight and scrunches up. Next we have my wind jacket, which is the Outdoor Research Helium 2, which, here we go, is this. It's very lightweight, um, cuts the wind, packs up very small, so that's what I like. Next we have, this is going to be in place of the fleece jacket that I'm actually going to take. I'm going to get a micro fleece jacket, but I'm going to use it for when we're in town, we're going out to dinner, um, and also it's going to be part of my sleep system because it's nice and I can sleep like this for the top part because my down comforter is not long enough. So it has two, um, two jackets. That guy. Then I have my Euro Schwing umbrella. <laughs> Which I'm not really sure that's how you say it, but that's how I say it. Um, it reflects, it all. It works for the rain, and it also works to reflect the UV light because I get really hot when I walk in direct sunlight, so it will help me both when it's sunny and when it's raining. On the Matassa. On the Matassa, as my lovely video assistant is telling me. Um, next I have my outdoor research Gewurzgebiener? Versa liner. Excuse me, Gewurzgebiener is the wine, Versa liner is the gloves. So these are great gloves because they're very warm, um, and they also, they keep you warm, they have nice little rubber pads, and it also has a rain liner that goes over this, but also it keeps very nicely in this handy dandy little pocket on top of the gloves, so you're never without those. These are also very warm, I love them. I've had these for a long time. Um, next, we have what I'll be wearing kind of like on my pack or on my head, um, as headbands, as buffs, as handkerchiefs, whatever. I have my, which I've, this is very well traveled and I love this guy. It's my handkerchief, but it all is also my broadleaf trees of the southeast case, which won't really do me any good in Spain, but it's my favorite handkerchief to hike with, so that's why it's going. And then I also have my buff. It's the UV high protection, so it'll help me against the sun, and it's the cool max, so it'll it wicks away moisture really well. You can use it as a headband, as a hat, you can use it as a buff. Um, all right, so next we have my Piranha Trucker hat. Um, I just really enjoy it, and it's got embroidered flowers on it, so it's not to love. It even has one on the back. All right, next we'll go to what I will be wearing while wow, hiking. Hey, oh, my. Oh, that's, so there's many stuff sacks over here. This one is for just my down jacket. We'll go in there. Um, next, while we are on trail, I will be wearing Solomon boots. Um, they are not currently on the table, but they're in the garage and they're muddy, so they can stay outside. Um, I don't know which style, but they're a very lightweight Solomon. It is a high top because I need the extra ankle support. So that's what I'm wearing on my feet. And then inside the boots, I will be wearing the Injinji, that's right? Yeah. Toe socks. These work great because my toes and previous boots have rubbed 
and I've got blisters in between my toes so this prevents your toes from rubbing and there's a lot less blisters that way. Next I have my REI um, sock liners. These are, I only got blue because they were the cheapest ones at REI and I just needed something between my toe socks and my boots to take up a little space. Um, also just these wick away moisture so it keeps the moisture off my feet and keeps my feet a little bit dry when I'm walking. So they're great. Not everybody likes these. This is, this is just my preference on what to wear. Um, then I will be wearing these Prana Monarch convertible pants. Um, the material that these are made out of is amazing. Eric wears these all the time and he really enjoys them so I decided to try them out. I love them. They're nice and roomy. Um, there's enough space under the zipper so that my knee brace can get in. There's giant pockets. You need to keep them in your pockets while you're walking um, that don't mess with your hip belt. And they're very thick and durable. They're really nice. And even when it's hot out, they don't feel too hot. So those work out well. Next, I will be wearing a Columbia Sportswear, um, the PFG uh, shirt. They're nice, they're very lightweight, they're built of uh, very durable material. And this one is light blue, I also have like a darker blue one. So you guys will see these a lot. Cause I'm only taking two. So you'll see these a lot in our videos coming up. Um, I don't know. So next we have what I'll be wearing when we stop hiking for the day and in town. Um, I will be wearing these very fancy, very expensive. Um, hot pink old navy flip-flops I originally had crocs to wear and these are actually lighter than the crocs and they will also work as shower shoes so I'm just gonna take these and wear them in town when we're at night going out to dinner and then in the shower so I don't get gross the fuck. Um, and then next we have oh the undergarments um, we have the Ex Officio underoos. I got them fancy with the base on top. And then these wash up great. You can wash them in the shower at night, hang them out to dry, and they'll be dry the next day. Um, next, for my bra, I will be wearing this Patagonia. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's like the softest bra that I've ever worn. It's very nice. Um, it's got a little padding in it, no wires. Um, it's very comfortable for daily use, but also great while you're backpacking. Oh, oh, <sighs> Much better. So I am using the same clothes for my sleep system as well as what I'm going to be wearing like in town and to dinner and while I'm doing laundry. Um, I got this. It's just a plain, simple little black dress at Old Navy. Get used to seeing it wrinkled because it's gonna be wrinkled in my backpack and that's just how it's gonna be we're gonna roll with it so it's just a simple little strapless knee length old navy dress i got a really expensive one from rei and this one actually turned out to be lighter and it was a fraction of the cost so definitely worth it there um also with that i will be wearing some just i think they're nautica actually yeah, just some Nautica leggings. They're a little bit thicker than regular leggings, um, so you won't see through them. And they'll be a little bit warmer, but just plain black leggings so I can wear it under my dress and wear it while I'm sleeping and I can keep a little bit warm. Um, the other part of my sleep system is, I think they're cabin home or mountain home or something. Super cheap. Something super cheap from JC Pennies. Dick Sporting Goods. I got those at JC Pennies. Mm -hmm. These were buy one, get two free at Dick Sporting Goods. So that's why we got them. So they're really nice on the inside. They're really soft and aloe. It's supposed to have like aloe or something on the inside. So we got them last year, but they're really comfortable. I think they'll be really nice to sleep in um, when it gets cold out. Yeah, after a long day on your feet, you want something nice and comfy on there. So, 
Next, I have my one purple armband. Um, when it gets real hot and we're walking, it's nice to have something on your arm that you can just kind of wipe the sweat away. Um, I may, I'm going to take this, but if I don't use it, this is something that I can definitely just throw away. I won't be sad because I have the other one at home. So there's that. The next thing I'm taking, some people would say I'm ridiculous. I think I am going to enjoy this. And I'm going to laugh at those ridiculous people who think I'm ridiculous when there's many flies outside, but this is a mosquito net to put over my face so that bugs don't get me in the face and bugs don't get in my nose and ears and all that kind of stuff which drives me nuts. So I'm going to take this. It's like a half an ounce. To me it's worth the weight. You may not be worth the weight for you, but it is for me. All right, so next we're going to move on to toiletries and shower things and everything extra that I'm taking that no one else is. So first of all, I'm taking this MSR. I think it's MSR, right? Yeah. It's a pack towel, just real lightweight, dries fast um, to wash and stuff at night. And then I'm taking this. Sea to Summit dry light towel. It's a microfiber towel. Um, these are real lightweight. They dry really fast. The only thing is you have to blot instead of rub. So I'm going to take this. Dries real fast. Has a little thing. We can hang it up at the end of the bed. It'll be great. What size is it? Um, the size is... I have the medium. So it's 20 inches by 40 inches. It would be this big. All right, so now to all my girly things that Eric thinks is ridiculous. That's what this section is. Um, so first I have my, it is going to double as, it's a um, lingerie bag, cheap from Target or Walmart. I'm going to put some loops on it so I can hang it in the shower. Um, so I'm going to put my toiletries in it when I'm in the shower. And then... When it's laundry day, I'm going to put my undergarments and things that I don't want really mixed in with anybody else's laundry in here to wash. <clears throat> super cheap, super easy to add loops. That's, and then what is going to go in here is, um, I well, this isn't really going to go in there, <coughs> but I am taking a small bottle of off because, because I get eaten by bugs. Anyone who knows me knows that if there's a bug outside, it's going to bite me. It tries to eat me. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Hopefully, they'll have something else similar if I run out. Hopefully, I won't need it, but we'll see. Next, I'm taking mascara. That's right, mascara. I can't live without it. So I'm going to take it with me. I'm going to carry the weight. Um, I will be taking Maybelline Falsies Volume Express in extra black, I believe very black excuse me <coughs> um i don't like the waterproof kind because i like to wash it off at night but i'm carrying the weight it's like an app so i'm not really that worried about it um next i am taking for lips i am taking a blistex five star protection it has spf 30 so i can wear it during the day and then when i want a little color i'm taking burt's bees tinted lip balm so these are my real luxury things. Bag is my pack. That's what I'm doing. It, this this weighs 0 0.15 ounce. To me, it's worth the weight. <clears throat> Next, I will be taking some Dr. Bronner's um, soap. This will be used for body wash. It will also be used to maybe do laundry. If I have to do laundry in the sink. Um, this is probably, it's a two ounce bottle, you know, the, the travel section at Target. Um, this might be <coughs> more than I need, but I'm gonna take it and see how that goes. We'll keep you updated. So next, I am taking Colorproof Crazy Smooth anti frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. Thank you, Aiden. Um, this will help this shampoo I can use 
<laughs> for as much hair as I have, I can use, use about a dime size and it washes and suds up real nice for my hair. I also have the conditioner. I have to use about twice as much of that to get through my hair, but it's not too bad. So I'm taking an extra Pantene Pro-V um, conditioner <clears throat> just in case I need a little bit if my hair gets too matted or something. Um, I am also taking deodorant. Many hikers choose not to take deodorant, but the vain person I am, I'm going to take some deodorant. Um, I'm taking an empty spray bottle. I can put water in this to do my hair in the morning if I need to spray down any frizzies. Um, I can do a couple drops of my conditioner in here, spray it on my hair to come through it, and it's an instant um, leave-in conditioner. It works great at home, so I'm going to try it on the trail. If not, this was just in the dollar section of Target. I can just throw it away if I want to. Also taking some sunscreen because I'm pale and I burn. That one's easy. I'm taking a razor because nobody wants a hairy girl. Um, Q-tips, this is a personal preference um, for myself. I won't keep them in this container, but I will be taking Q-tips. Just a personal preference thing. Um, <clears throat> toothbrush and toothpaste. Kind of self-explanatory. You need toothbrush toothpaste. Um, I will be taking, for my hair, I'm taking these little um, rubber bands. These are in a, in a medicine bag, but I'm gonna take a bunch of these so that when I braid my hair and stuff, I can just put one in. It'll pop, it can break, I can throw it away, I'm not worried about it. I am gonna take a couple of real hair ties and I'm just <clears throat> excuse me, I'm taking this pick and that's it, that's my hair system. Could get dicey, but we'll see. Um, next, I will be carrying toilet paper, pretty self-explanatory. And I'm taking some Coleman Bio Wipes. These are um, biodegradable wipes. Huh? These are biodegradable wipes so that when you got to go outside, you can bury this sucker in, in about, looks like about uh, 20 days. It completely disintegrates and there's no trace of it left. So that's pretty good. It's good for the environment and good for me. So. All right, next we're gonna move on to sleep system and some miscellaneous stuff. So I am taking this Cordra. Um, inside of here is a tiny backpack. Sea to Summit. Oh, excuse me. It's a Sea to Summit. Cordra is what it's made from. Okay, Cordra is what it's made from. Thank you, sir. Um, sea to Summit backpack. It stuffs into this little tiny sack so when we go out to dinner and our bag is in the hostel or something we can just take this little bag with us with our wallet phones camera passport things like that we might need but not a whole backpack so we're gonna take that um the other thing if you know me you know that i may partake in some wine from now every now and again um so i'm taking a wine key some people think that our wine um, will not be opened every time for us or if we have lunch wine for lunch and we're out in the middle of a field somewhere we need to open it so I got just a cheap little wine key um, and then if we need to take a bottle of wine with us I am taking this very nice very thin it's a <clears throat> GSI outdoor it's like a wine bladder this holds an entire bottle of wine um, and it has like in the spout, it has this handy dandy tool. You turn it around this way and it also acts as a funnel for the wine to get into the bottom nicely. So there's that. It's a little frivolous, but why not? Um, and this is, I have, it's a little container that keeps my earplugs so that when we stay at hostels and people are snoring other than myself, we can, I can drown them out with some earplugs. Um, and then I have, huh? These I got at a music festival one time. So I don't know who High Tower Records are, but thanks for the earplug case. Do you know who Tower Records is? I know they're somewhere, I don't know. But I got them on a show. Um, this is kind of a comfort item for me. I've always carried it in my pack. Um, it's a, black crater gear 
Um, but it, it kind of goes on like a pull cord or something. I keep it in my backpack, but it's a very tiny little flashlight. And then it blinks. Some people say I never use it, but it's kind of a comfort thing. It's always been in my backpack. These two things kind of been clipped in and I've carried around for years. So they're going with me to Spain. Um, next we have some clothespins. I'm going to paint them purple. Um, these are for drying clothes after we do laundry. Um, so we don't pay for a dryer. They can just kind of hang out outside. Um, hand sanitizer, please, pretty self-explanatory. This way I can hang it on the front. So when I'm doing something, I can just um, get some sanitizer and go. Um, next. Just some simple, cheap little Walmart carabiners. This one locks. Um, we use this more than we're, when we're tent camping, but we're not doing that this time. But it's just a good little carabiner, and it's hot pink, so why not? All right, so next we have, let's go back up here. So next I have my headlamp. I have a Snow Peak headlamp. I don't know which one it is. Um, so it has a, a bright and a medium and then off. I think it blinks if you hit it enough times. But it also does like this for a spotlight and then if you pop it out like this it gives like more of an ambient light not a direct light um, for like reading when you're inside somewhere and then you can hold the button and it'll slowly dim so you can just have a really nice little light if you're reading in your bunk or in your tent. I like it a lot. Um, we got some extra batteries for that guy. Um, I have my watch that I like to wear. It's just a cheap little Timex off of Amazon. Um, it has the Indiglow. That's about all I know how to use on it. Let's be real. That's all I know how to use on it. Um, so when the time changes, Eric's going to have to change it for me. Um, next, I have my passport, which I'm pretty excited about because I don't have any stamps in it yet. So I get my first stamps and my first ever passport. Pretty excited about that. Along with that, I have my credential, credential del Peregrino, which is your credentials for the Camino de Santiago. Every night we stay <clears throat> in a hostel or go somewhere, they give us a stamp along the way, and at the end we get our pilgrimage certificate. And it's just cool, it's got some cool information on it, the spirit of the Camino, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff, so this is very important to get our certificate at the end. Um, next I'll be taking my phone which is the Google Pixel XL. Um, <coughs> this is how I'll be keeping track of everybody. Um, it takes great pictures so we may not be taking the like real camera but this is what I'm going to take and do videos and pictures and update Facebook and all that kind of stuff. This is the charging cable for it. There's a plug somewhere. Um, I will also be carrying the Camino de Santiago Pilgrim's Guide. Um, it has all the towns and what's in all the towns in it. Um, the first part that just gives you basic information about the book, about the trail and about the walk, um, we'll probably rip out and leave home. And then kind of as we use it, tear sections out and leave it and whatever but it's a great book this is how eric planned all our stops and <coughs> where we're going to stay and how far we're going to walk and why and so this is a really good guidebook um i have two ziploc bags one of which my passports will go into and one my phone will probably go into so those are easy um next my sleeping system I have my Cedar Summit. Cedar Summit pillow. Um, it inflates as well as has room to stuff clothes in here to give it some extra volume. <coughs> so you inflate it with this little thing. Oh, what is this? The tag? Yeah, it's just the Nemo. Okay. NemoEquipment.com? No, it's Cedar Summit Nemo. Okay. Well, it says on the back, it says NemoEquipment.com. Do what you will with that information. Um, this is a bag. It stuffs into this bag, makes it real. It's nice and compact. Um, it's got some like gel foamy stuff in here, so when it's against your face, it's nice and cool. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I got for Christmas and I like it, so I use it. Um, this is a, I don't know which, this is a Sea to Summit Cool Max sheet. Um, this is not mine, this is Eric's. Mine is at the monogramming store, getting monogrammed. Because we have the same one and God forbid we get them confused. Um, but I like mine and he got one like mine because it has this handy dandy little pocket that your pillow fits into so it doesn't slide off the bed or slide out of your sleeping bag if that's what you're doing. And then it just kind of has this little flap so it makes it feel like you're in like a regular sheet. You can tuck it up or lay it down. So we like it. Plus it has some bug stuff in it. Keep the bugs away. Bed bugs. And bed bugs. Yay. Um, next, I have my sleeping quilt. This is an, it's an Eddie Bauer quilt. Um, and then we use the fantastic Joe Brewer's technique to make it into a sleeping quilt um, by adding ribbon at the bottom. Let's see, I don't have it all tied up, so I don't think I can get it undone. Maybe, hold on. There we go. It's gonna completely come undone. So it keeps, Everything's bunched together so you can put your feet in it. Sorry. So you can keep your feet in it. But then you can also use it as a regular blanket. I can get it undone, here we go. And it just has these little ribbon loops at the end and a bungee cord and it just keeps it all together. Then otherwise it's just a dab blanket. So that works really well. Um, Eric's used a quilt before. He really likes it. We found these. They're very lightweight, very cheap. Thank you, Joe Brewer, for the extra tip. We appreciate you. All right, next I have my, this is a Sea to Summit 13 liter Ultra Sill stuff sack. This is what my sleeping stuff is going to go into so it stays dry when we're hiking. Um, next I have my <clears throat> three liter Camelback um, water system. This top is not my favorite, but we're gonna roll with it. Um, this is just the bite valve and the hose. So this goes in a backpack, this comes around the strap, and then as I'm walking, I can drink water. Or if I get frisky, I can fill it up with water, whatever. We'll see what happens. Um, next, we will be packing these non-active tablets. They are electrolyte tablets that go in your water um, it's like sugar for Gatorade but when you've used filtered water and the water tastes really gross this helps make it taste better as well as add electrolytes to your system so you're not as dehydrated for as long if you are dehydrated so there's that um, I will also be taking my black diamond flip lock alpine carbon cork trekking poles um we've had these for a long time these these have got quite a few miles on them already um probably by the time we're done they'll need new tips but super easy to use i love these these saved my hiney quite a few times from falling even today um and i just went ahead because we've heard that at hostels and albergues where we'll be staying all the trekking poles look the same so i've got some paint pen and kind of colored mine up a little bit so that they will stand out a little bit and hopefully no one will take them being hot pink or purple but you never know somebody might dig it and steal them anyways because they're hot pink or purple um the next thing i have is my <coughs> knee brace um this is prescribed to me prescribed to me by my doctor and I'll be wearing it because it helps stabilize my knee when I'm walking long distances, especially up and down hills. Um, next, I have my seat. It is a closed cell phone. Yeah, it says it on it. It's a Thermarest Ridgeway or something like that. I don't know. I got it like 30 years ago. A ridge something? I don't know. So, Ridge Rest. It's a ridge rest. It was a long one that you could sleep on. We've cut it into three pieces. I'll be carrying a piece. Eric will be carrying a piece. And Meg will be carrying a piece. So these are great because when you want to sit and it's wet or bumpy, you can sit on it and you don't get wet and you don't feel rocks in your Um Next, the piece de resistance is my backpack. I have the Gregory Jade 50. Um, I love this backpack. 
it may not be for everyone, but this is the one that I love. Um, it was the first one I tried on when we started backpacking like four years ago. Um, I love it. I take it everywhere with me. It's very well traveled. I mean, it's got probably hundreds of miles on it and there's, I mean, no wear and tear on it. I love it. It's comfortable for me. It's the great size for me as far as fitting. Fits all my stuff in it, whether we're going for, a, I fit a week worth of stuff in here. I can fit a weekend's worth of stuff in here, so it's great. Um, and then I also have my Gregory rain cover that goes with it. It's not attached, but it's not, that's not a big deal for me. So I'll be taking this. And then I have just my little keychain thermometer that hangs on up here. Oh, I have this guy too that I added to it. It's a Liberty Mountain. This is actually a water bottle holder that just adds to your strap. I use it to put my phone in it and my headphone, actually my headphones in it. Um, so when I'm walking, I have easy access to this because the only complaint that I had about it was that the hip pockets are a little bit too small for my giant phone and they're a little bit too far back, but this solves it for five bucks, solves that problem. Um, so that's it. That's what I'm taking our Camino to Santiago 2017. Um, we leave in nine days. We're all super excited and hope you enjoy this video. Buen Camino. Bon Camino! I'm now going to go over my stuff. And this is Eric, by the way. So I'm going to start with the bedding. My uh, towel, actually, let's start with my towel. It's a the Sea to Summit microfiber medium towel, same thing that uh, LC or Margo had. Um, nice towel. I've used it many times in the past. Um, don't forget to blot if you get a microfiber towel. The sheet that I'm using is the exact same as Margot's. It's the um, Sea to Summit um, Travel One. I don't know, I can't remember. But it, it's a cocoon sheet, but it has extra on, on the end to allow you to use it with a pillow, which is way better than the other one that I had, which is more for your, um, what's it called? The sleeping bag, the mummy bag. Um, there's not enough on the back side for you. It all falls in and it's very tight. I don't like it at all. Uh, so that's, we got one of these for me. The pillow is also exactly the same as Margot's. It's the uh, Nemo, I was wrong earlier. Uh, Philo, F-I-L-L-O. Um, this is probably one of our, my best pieces of gear. Um, it is awesome. It, uh, you inflate it um, and it just works great. It doesn't weigh too much. You just saw it in the, in the bag that it goes in and it, uh, it, it's not that heavy. So it's pretty awesome. Um, it's a luxury item. I know some people be like, use your clothes bag. Why do you need to have a pillow, whatever? Um, I want a pillow because I like pillows on my head. Um, this is my blanket. Um, it's a, just some cheap um, uh, down comforter that you buy, like a little travel comforter. Um, not very expensive at all. Um, down's not super great, but I don't need. I'm hot anyways, so I don't really need it. Uh, Margo is gonna Joe Brewer it um, a little bit later. She's gonna sew tabs on the end and then you tie it together and it creates a foot box. So you stick your feet into it. Um, that way uh, it's not too uh, different for me. All of this goes into this uh, 12 liter dry bag. Um, it roll, for those who don't know what a dry bag is, they're made from um, nylon and they don't they don't allow water in and when you roll it down from the top it holds water and air and anything else so uh, that's that's my sleeping system and my towel uh, this is my same as margo had the ridge rest butt pad or sit pad whatever you want to call it um it's just a closed cell foam pad that i bought when i was like 19 i think and um back when i could use this much on the ground and be comfortable um can't do that anymore 
Um, but it's excellent for sitting down on. Um, you just whip it out, throw it on the ground, and sit down on it, and it works great. Um, the next item is a granite gear uh, square. I can't remember what they're called, but they're like whisper light bags or something like that. Um, it's, it's a food bag. It's what I use as my food bag. It's, 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 it's in a square and it has a full length zipper. So it's really easy to unzip it and kind of dig around for what you want and then get your food out that you want and um, use it that way. Uh, I'll, I, I've used it on the last trip that we went on and it worked great. Um, it worked, it was excellent to have the food and you can get to anything that you needed to. Uh, the next items are my uh, hydration or water stuff. So I'm taking a shaker bottle, just the standard shaker bottle that you see anywhere that you see um, gym rats carrying around and putting in um, protein or whatever, you know, uh, pre-workout or whatever it is they're doing. Um, I'm taking that for two reasons. Uh, the first one is these tablets, these Nun tablets. Um, you put, you fill this up with water, you put one of these in here, and you have a non-sugar loaded, um, a non-sugar loaded uh, uh, hydration. Electrolyte. Um, electrolytes, thank you. Um, non-sugar loaded electrolytes, which uh, you, if, for those who just drink water, uh, if you're really sweating a lot, like you live in South Carolina and you go hiking, um, you lose a lot of electrolytes and that can really damage your system. Especially if you put down too much water. If you drink too much water, you can get that hypo water thing in or whatever. Um, and the other thing that, that I'm going to be doing, so this is, uh, I'm not pushing on, on um, which is, uh, I can't remember what they stand for, but anyways, I'm not pushing on stuff. Uh, what was important is casein. Uh, casein is an egg-based protein that takes a long time to digest, so you take it at night and it takes a while to digest. It keeps you fuller and it also uh, gives you more food for your tummy. <laughs> um, the water that I'm taking, I don't have the right bottles, but it's the uh, one liter uh, smart water bottles. I'm just taking empty bottles and I'll fill them up as I go. Um, one, one of them will have one of these caps and they'll be a regular cap. Um, smart water bottles fit in everything that I've ever used. The caps are some magical creation that just spin on and spin off. I've never had anything like that before. They're pretty awesome. So that's my, I'm taking two of those. Um, that's my hydration. Uh, the next thing I'll go over is my electronics. Uh, so, that's okay. um, this is my headlamp. Um, I've actually used this headlamp to signal ships um, at sea and uh, have them signal me back. It is pretty spectacular. A lot of people will tell you that, why do you have such a giant headlamp? I mean, this is the battery over here and this is the headlamp part over here. It takes four double A's. Um, it's too heavy, it's too blah, blah, blah. I've hiked a lot at night. Uh, Margo and I uh, always end up being out too late and we end up being stuck at night and I've had multiple headlamps and they all sucked. And I'd rather have more light than less and I'll carry it. Um, that's why. Now this is probably, uh, so I did a bunch of research and uh, what was awesome was Outdoor Gear Lab. If you've never been there, OutdoorGearLab.com. Um, they do tons of YouTube videos and they do a great amount of um, uh, research and uh, comparison enough. videos on all sorts of stuff. And one of the ones they did was on headlamps and this is the one that came out the brightest. Obviously not the lightest, but the brightest. Um, they also have it by lightness and all that kind of stuff. I'm taking my uh, Google Pixel. Um, this is the 128 gig version. Uh, it, it's just an awesome phone. It has a great camera. I've decided not to take the Sony camera that we're, uh, we're current. Margo is currently videotaping me on because uh, it's just more weight. Um, and I think the Google Pixel camera will do just fine for the pictures that we'll be taking. For to keep us all powered because we have three people going and. Um, We'll need a bunch of power for that because we all have uh, phones and we'll all be taking pictures and videos and uploading to Facebook like some people like to do constantly and Snapchatting and all that crap. Um, we have a 4,000 milliamp, 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 something like that, battery from Anchor. Um, use this, it, it charges my phone and Margo's like twice each, so that's like four charges. 
um, per phone. So uh, the only problem with it, it takes a while to um, charge itself. Um, so that's the only the only downside. But so I'll have the battery and the cable that goes with it because the Pixels, Margo's and my Pixel, both use the uh, uh, USB-C to charge as opposed to the old micro USB um, that everybody else used, or everybody used to use. So we'll have to use that. Uh, Margo has the little dual, um, we'll each be carrying one, I don't have one on here, but um, dual USB out to plug into something and then this is just a little converter to go from English to um, European or American to European. Uh, the other thing we got over here is my, um, what are these? Clothespins. Clothespins, thank you. It's been so long since I've seen one. Um, my clothespins, mine are green striped. Um, unlike somebody else's, these are not green striped. What are they? Uh, they are pink with purple, purple polka dots. I didn't pay attention. Um, and this is my rock that I'm taking. So mom and I were doing some of the Palmetto Trail through Columbia. So every, let's go back a little bit. Everybody, well not everybody, a lot of people who do the Camino, they carry a rock and this rock symbolizes anything that they're working through. So one of the reasons why they go on their pilgrimage um, and they take the rock and there's a certain, it's called the uh, metal iron cross um, on the way and it has a pile of rocks on it. And when you go there, you put your rock down and you do a little prayer to God and you tell him about your problem and you hope that when you have carried this rock, your problem this long, you put it down, your problem will um, go away um, or yeah. have a solution come to you. So um, I didn't know what, what I was going to take. Um, I didn't know why I would take a rock. I'll start there. Uh, so it's kind of... I wasn't really worried about it. Uh, Mom and I were doing um, part of the Palmetto Trail through Columbia, and we walked by uh, this church in downtown Columbia, and we took a break there. Um, and when I walked up to one of the benches that we were, they had these um, uh, rock, or not rock, but granite benches they had built. Um, when I walked up to the bench, this was sitting on top of the bench. So some little five-year-old had painted a rock and left it there, and now it's gonna go to Spain. Um, and it's gonna get left on the pile. It has a little smile on my face. Mm -hmm. That's my rock. Uh, I'm gonna go back in a second. Uh, these are my earplugs. Um, they're in kind of a thick case. Uh, it probably weighs a little bit more than I want. Um, these are supposed to be the best earplugs. That's what they um, they they uh, advertise as. Uh, I just got them off of Amazon. Uh, look for the best earplugs. They're kind of they're they're like wax, and you um, and you uh, you shape it, and then you stick it in your ear, and, it, and you you push it flat to your ear, and it basically covers all everything in your ear. Um, I've used them a couple of times. I used them when I was just in Kuwait. The guy next to me in the hotel was very loud. Uh, it worked great. Um, so I will give you a review on them. Once I have been in a 150 person room with a bunch of snorers. We'll see how that goes because I can't sleep with noise. Um, this is, uh, I can't sleep with light either. Well, I can, but it's really hard for me to sleep with light. So I got this uh, face mask. Um, I've used it, I used it in Kuwait as well because um, when the sun comes up in the Middle East, it comes up at like 3.30 in the morning uh, and it sucks. So this worked really well there. Um, so I was very happy with that. It's a little light, heavier than one of the ones that you get like in an airline or something like that, but that's worth it to me. Um, this is my uh, credential. Uh, Margo kind of went over it a little bit earlier. Um, you get stamps on it every day. Uh, every time you stop somewhere, you can get some stamps. Can you give me the, my headphones are on my lunchbox. Uh, let's go through our medical kit. So it's the medical kit and the um, and the uh, the uh, repair. Both. So 
it started out as a uh, the adventure medical kits for one to two people. Um, I took most of what they had in there out. Okay, just a second. I took one, most of what they had in there out and uh, replaced it with some stuff that we found that we need when we do stuff. So first thing we have is Advil ibuprofen. Um, you know what it is. You notice how big the bag is. So these are little medical what are they, medicine bags or yeah. pill bags or something like that. Um, there, we have quite a few. So I'm carrying stuff for three people. That's that's, what my, that's why I'm carrying all this. Um, so this is our ibuprofen. Have some cough drops. Um, this is, uh, I believe this is for diarrhea. Yeah, anti-diarrhea. Always go somewhere with anti-diarrhea because you don't ever want to be caught that way. Um, uh, this is Margo takes a few of these, the Tylenol PM. Um, every now and again, and when she when it hurts, when her knee hurts her too much, so we got some of those. Um, I take two of these every night. This is Benadryl. Um, I take them every night, and uh, it helps uh, me sleep. So this will actually get bigger. This will probably be the same size as that when I'm done, because uh, I, I need at least six weeks worth of them, and I take a lot. Um, we got some Dayquil, um, if we get sick, we got some Dayquil there. This is Indomethacin, it's a uh, prescription anti-inflammatory. Um, it's really, I, it works great on me. I have uh, gout, and when I have a gout flare, which I don't have a lot, but when I do, um, I take one of these and it, it takes care of it right away. It's awesome, and it um, takes care of swelling in your whole body. So it does a great job. Um, I do have found, Nicole, that uh, acupuncture is better. Uh, this, we have some Aleve. Um, depends on your poison, which one you prefer more. Um, this is Pepsid. Um, so they're, they're, it's the same. I know the pills are different colors, but it's basically the same thing. Um, it's just anti-reflux um, medicine. It works good. And then I have some more cough medicine. This is something we've had for a while. Um, prescription. Yeah, it's prescription strength. So that's our pills. We're a walking medicine cabinet. Um, for our um, for our uh, repair stuff, I have some rubber bands, which are probably old and crunchy. And then this is uh, goat tape. I know you can't really see it, but it's goat tape. Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, it'll repair holes in just about anything. Um, I'm going to take it out now. Um, so inside the little case, which is awesome, I carry a pair of tweezers, really good tweezers. They actually came out of the, the kit. Um, they do an excellent job. Uh, some uh, uh, paper clips, um, just you never know when you're going to need those. Um, two sizes, basically. A safety pin, and, and another safety pin, a little small. Um, and then a needle and some thread. Uh, there's another safety pin. There's a needle and thread here. This is the tape. Um, it has backing, and you cut off what you need, and it's kind of a I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's a, a nice material. And then there's the needle and thread. Um, got a bunch of different kinds. I pulled it out of a, um, a sewing kit that I got from some hotel or another. I don't know. But uh, there's a bunch of thread in there and there's a needle. Um, and that, that comes in handy for two things. Um, obviously to fix your clothes if it's broken, but also for blisters. So one thing you want to do when you get a blister is to pop it and then at night thread a needle, thread, thread uh, through the, the blister that will dry it out. Um, that way you won't, uh, the next day you won't get a blister on a blister, which really sucks. <laughs> it does a lot. Let me take, let me, let me tell you. Huh? Put it in another thing first. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so that's our, 
That's our repair kit. Uh, oh, the last part of the repair kit is uh, ladies, Lady Cake's uh, Leatherman. Um, it's just the little scissor guy. Um, that's all you really need, honestly. Um, if, you're, if you need a screwdriver, you're doing something wrong. Um, the only really thing that it has that we use a lot is the knife, and the only thing that you really use a knife for is to cut cheese. So, you know, those who think that you need a knife for something else are crazy. Um, it also has a little um, yeah. file if you need that. And we found the other day that it had tweezers somewhere on here. Uh, there's some tweezers. So we got a couple of sets of tweezers. I didn't even know it had that. So there you go. Uh, if you need to fix your glasses, it has the, the little flathead to do that. Uh, all right, so bandages, uh, I get, I have the feet of a baby, a baby. So we have quite a few bandages to fix blisters with. Um, Neosporin to goop yourself. And then we have uh, dark, um, moleskin, which is basically just so you can, um, oh, it has little circles, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> it has, so moleskin, so you can you can uh, cover up your blisters, and then this is some of the medicine that came with the kit. That's uh, not ibuprofen. Comes in like self little packets, and I'm like, that's a lot of wasted paper and stuff. So um, this is Margot's fire starting kit because she's a pyro, and then we just have a bunch of different kinds of band aids um, in case you run into a problem. So. That is our first aid kit. Done. Uh, oh, what I didn't go over earlier was my headphones. So I have the Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. Or are they Quiet Comfort? I don't know. They're the, not the $300 ones. They're the cheaper ones. Um, they're nice headphones. They work great. Bone Um All right. So. Bonus. Well, it means the same thing. Bone, blend, whatever. Okay. Uh, toiletries. So I have uh, Skin Glide. Um, I use that a little different places so that I don't uh, rub and get uh, chafe. chafe. Yeah. Um, some toilet paper, some of those bio wipes that Margo talked about. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Um, make it big. A toothbrush and some toothpaste. I doubt I'm going to cut the handle off the toothbrush. I don't think that's worth it. Um, this is hand soap. Um, one thing I found when we were out hiking was um, that hand sanitizer works okay, but I, I need to get the, the dirt off, and that's hand soap required for that. Uh, I am taking deodorant. Uh, I know a lot of people tell you not to, that's stupid, why are you going to carry it? Uh, I am going to carry it because I'm an American and uh, I, that's, I do deodorant. I put on um, chemicals to hide my body's odor. That's what I did. I'm carrying a bar of soap um, because I use soap and I hate uh, liquid soap when you rub it on yourself. I just I can't stand that. So, bar of soap. And a comb, and the little, my little netted bag to carry those three or four things into. Um, the toilet paper and the wipes go into, and all actually all of this fits into this little bag here to be uh, waterproof. Uh, this is my little backpack. Uh, it's not. It's the the extra backpack that I'm taking. I don't want to say extra, but it's the the after we've been walking all day and we put stuff in it. This is a um, a Sea to Summit. I think it's Sea to Summit. Um, and I, I'm actually thinking about using it not just as a backpack, but because it's a dry sack as well. Um, so it unwinds and it, it's just a basic big bag with two, yeah, this Sea to Summit, with two shoulder straps on it. And so you can hook stuff underneath this uh, little 
thing, little string, and then you roll this down just like I showed you with the, the other thing, and you hook it, and this is waterproof. So I might double this up as, because I need to get another bag for some of this other stuff. Um, so I might double this up as my dry bag for some of this other stuff. Um, it's a pretty awesome bag. I, we've used them for other trips and they worked out great. All right, so uh, my, oh, oh uh, headband. This is my American flag headband. Just let everybody know I'm America. America! So really it's for at night. Um, I can use it to put over my eyes or if there's a fan on or something and my hair is bugging me, I can keep my hair out of my head. Out of my head, out of my face. Uh, so <laughs> this is my knee pad, my knee brace. Uh, I have a knee problem with <laughs> so I have a knee problem with my left knee. Um, when I'm going downhill, uh, it'll be a problem. Going uphill is pretty okay. You just have to slow down some. Um, but when you're going downhill, it gets rough. And you're, you're doing a lot of this. Um, so this uh, goes around my knee. Uh, it has a little. Uh, rubber pulls in it. It's a, called a Chopak. Uh, I'll show you the name. Uh, Chopak. Uh, I saw it on some other guys' hiker videos. A couple of people used it doing the Appalachian Trail. Co what? T. Oh, well, Co Chopat. Um, and it, and they're like, yeah, this is saves me. I tried it once and it worked great. Um, it's an awesome, awesome piece of gear. I don't use it a whole lot, but I carry it because it does work so good. Um, my hat is uh, from uh, Cryptek. This is probably one of the best hats I've ever had worn. I hate hats. Start there. I can't stand hats. Um, but uh, this works awesome because it keeps the sweat really out of my face. I've worn this doing um, hikes here in South Carolina, doing 22 miles in 90 degree heat with 90% humidity and the hat wicks like crazy the bill uh you know i don't know if you guys have ever worn hats and gotten them all wet and the bill gets disgusting and because it's cardboard in here and it gets gross i don't know what the bill is made of but the bill wicks itself which is crazy um so this is a great hat and if you if we ever get a chance cryptech is the way to go for hats um that's that's the way it's spelled um, So I'm, I'm kind of, I, I, we went back and forth about the American flag being on it. I don't like to advertise the fact that I'm American when I'm overseas, um, that most of the world dislikes America, Americans. So, um, but it's subdued and I, and I really like that. So I'm hoping that I won't get in too much trouble with it. Um, we'll hide it when we're in Paris. Yeah. Um, I got a pair of Croc flip-flops, which are spectacular. I love Crocs because, well, I like, I like Crocs because they're so comfortable, they're so cushy. Um, but I don't like closed-toed shoes when I'm wearing a sandal to keep my, when I'm trying to dry my feet out, basically. I don't like that, so um, these are going to be awesome. These are awesome because they are open-toed and they have all the nice, comfortable Crocness. Uh, my shoes are next. So I have the Lone Peak, the Ultra Lone Peak 2s. Um, if you do any hiking and you are, these are the 3s. Oh, these are the Lone Peak 3s. If you do any hiking and you um, want the best shoe ever, these are them. Um, these are brand new. I just got them a couple days ago. I had another pair that I wore through. Um, after hundreds of miles, um, they, they are spectacular. They have super cushion. I mean, this is all cushion right here. Um, they're so cushy and they just are comfortable and they're wide in the toe box so that your feet can expand. Um, they're just, they're good shoes. Um, as shoes go, they're awesome. These are my Dirty Girls, um, Dirty Girl Gators. Uh, if you do any hiking or uh, trail running and you don't have dirty girls, you're doing it wrong. Um, this will keep all of that nastiness out of your shoes and they weigh next to nothing. 
um, and they look awesome. So, and they have like 400 different styles, so you can get them however you want. All right, my rain stuff. This is my rain skirt. Um, it's made by uh, Z-Packs. Huh? It's a kilt. It's a whatever. Skirt, kilt, you can do whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it's made by Z-Packs. It's made out of Cuban fiber. It's completely waterproof. It, do, it uh, doesn't cover my entire legs, which is what I want. And uh, Margo and I just tested it out uh, yesterday during Hurricane Ira. Irma. Irma, Ira, it starts with an I. And uh, it worked good. Um, these are my Yama mitts. So they go over your hand like a suit and then you tighten them down, but they have a hole in them so you can use them, your poles with them. You can hold on to your poles. So you can put your poles in it or you can high five. Uh, so it's Yama, Y-A-M-A, -A, Mountain Gear. That's where you get these at. Um, they're made from, not Cuban fiber, but something else that's equally light. And, uh, huh? that Silnet stuff? Yeah, Silnet, that's right, thank you. Um, and uh, so they're pretty awesome. Um, my jacket is a Arcteryx uh, windshirt. It's uh, super light. It fits. It rolls up into this pocket. It's not designed to be out in the middle of a storm for long periods of time. It's. Uh, it just is designed for like running and being. You're going to get wet anyways. Um, I don't need a super heavy jacket because I'm just going to get hot. So what I have instead of a jacket, a real heavy jacket, is an umbrella. So this umbrella is pretty awesome. It reflects the light. It's a UV reflector. So in, if we're out on the Matassa, I can put it up and get some shade. Um, or it, it's just a regular umbrella. Uh, I tested it out. Uh, it worked like a champ. Um, the other thing this one does, uh, this is by Euro Schwing. Schwing! Um, is it's, uh, it's designed to uh, extend. It's designed to be clipped to yourself so that you can uh, clip it onto your chest bracket and then it'll fold itself up so you can use both arms when you're doing it. Um, I am very happy with the umbrella. This is my second one. Um, I had the smaller one originally. It was lighter. This is actually double the weight, um, but that's okay because I like the fact that it gets bigger. It's, it's a larger umbrella to start with, which is better for me because I'm a bigger dude. Uh, so my uh, warmth stuff, I have the uh, Mountain Hardware Monkey Man, um, Monkey Man 2 jacket. Um, this jacket is spectacular. Uh, this is probably uh, right up there in my top five pieces of gear. It, it's warm. Um, the wind cuts right through it, so that's where the wind shirt comes in. Um, but this is super warm. It's comfortable. It fits right. It, it has, it's just a good jacket. It's a really great jacket. I wear it all the time. I wear it at work. I wear it, you know, just normally. Um, I don't. I, it's not just something I wear for uh, hiking and doing that kind of thing. Um, I got a pair of uh, North Face gloves. It's just a random pair of gloves I picked up at uh, REI at some point. Um, they have the little metallic thing or whatever it is in the fingertips so that you can use your phone with them. Um, nothing special. They're not waterproof. They're not anything special. They're just gloves. Uh, my hands get cold, um, so they're a little bit uh, heavier than uh, what Margo's taking. Um, I have a pair of those too, but I'm only going to take these ones. Uh, the last thing that I have for warmth is a pair of biking sleeves. Um, so these are designed for uh, people on bikes. Um, they're, they're super warm. Um, my, obviously, the way I look, my core doesn't get too cold, but my arms do. So I don't need a vest, I need the reverse of a vest, which is sleeves. So, um, uh, gar Garanu, Garanu, can you zoom in on that? Garanu, um, they're, they're pretty awesome. I've used them on multiple trips and they work great. Uh, they keep my arms warm and then I can just rip them off when, I'm, when it's too warm. So they work awesome. All right, my clothes um, and my poles. 
So I have uh, mountain prana. Uh, prana. I'm sorry. Yeah. These are the what are they? The prana um, stretch neon stretch zeons pants convertibles. So you can unzip the legs off of them, um, uh, which I have already done with these. The legs come off. They turn into shorts. Um, this material is quite possibly, uh, I don't know, it came from aliens or something like that because it is spectacular. It Dirt just falls off of it. I, I walked through with these, not these pants, but a different pair. I walked through a, uh, a, a forest that had a forest fire in it. I had to go like through the forest. I got black all over my pants. The next day um, when I was walking, all the black was gone. Um, all the charcoal black was gone. It's amazing. Water beads off of them. Um, they're just, I've, I've walked through briar, uh, like, so I've done most, well, a great deal of the uh, Palmetto Trail, which nobody seems to take care of. So a lot of the trail just disappears into briar patches or thorn patches or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I have the leg scars to prove it, but the pants always come out spectacularly. Um, when I put the legs on, it helps my legs, but half the time I'm just too hot, so I don't care. So I'd rather deal with that. So I have two pairs of those that I'm taking. Um, my shirts, I have the Columbia, um, you know, the sports shirts. It's just those fishing, it, it's the nicer version of the fishing shirts they, they make. And by nice, I don't mean um, better, uh, better wicking or anything like that. It's just, it just looks nicer. Um, there's not as many stupid pockets for fish crap, um, so they just look nicer. And then this is a mount marmot one uh, Margo found on the. Oh, okay. yeah, this one's a long sleeve. So there you go. It has all the the vents, vents and all that crap. Um, and this one's long sleeve. Um, this one is a short sleeve marmot. Uh, that Margot found on the some. Aria. Huh? Just at Aria. Just at Aria. Okay, so that one's. It's just that I need. I wanted another. Sh I wanted a short sleeve version of this, and we couldn't find this, the Columbia one, so we went with the Marmot. Um, it works good too. It, it, they wick. They both wick like great. Uh, the Columbia ones are pretty awesome because they. Um, I, I have a white one that. I mean, I got blood on it, and the blood just came out with sweat. I mean, it just washed out itself. It was amazing. Um, so, great shirts. Um, I'm using the Ex Officio boxer briefs. Um, I have the shorter and the longer ones. They work great. They're Ex Officio. If you don't know about Ex Officio underwear, go look it up, because uh, you should be using Ex Officio. Uh, I'm taking um, my, my sock combination is in Jinji, in Jinji toe socks. You can't see it, the black on black. No. Uh, in Jinji toe socks, two, two socks, um, as a liner, and then, um, what are these called? Belega, we call them beluga. Um, Belega, uh, these are the anti-blister ones. They're got like got half mohair, half polyester, um, and they are the higher ankle height because uh, I find that the low cut ones, the low cut ones, don't um, the the shoe come rubs up and rubs on my ankle, so I get the higher ones and they work great. Um, I using these two, this pair of socks, I have clocked probably. Uh, four or five hundred miles, and I have had one blister, which is amazing for me. I'm the guy that I walk from here to the refrigerator and I get a blister, so it's the doing that is just badass. Um, so, this is a great sock combo for me, and I will always have it. I'm taking three pairs, um, probably don't need the third pair, but I'm going to take them anyways because I just feel like I do. You pack to your fears. I have problems with my feet, so I packed to my feet. 
Uh, the last couple things are my poles of the Black Diamond uh, Flick Lock Alpine uh, Carbon Cork. Uh, I like the cork handles. Um, they're getting a little bit worn, but um, I do like the cork handles. They uh, continue to give me grip even after I get all sweaty and nasty. Um, and then I use these lower uh, grips all the time as well when I'm walking. Um, as you can tell, they've been used a bit. Um, and then I also take Luco, Luco tape. Uh, if you don't know about Luco tape, go look it up. L E U K O, I think. Um, it is designed to stick to humans, and it does a great job. Um, it will stick to you, and will not come off for days. Um, this is my stuff sack for all my clothes. Same old thing that I showed you down there. Just a stuff sack. Uh, the last thing I got is my backpack. It is the ULA Circuit. Uh, these guys are just awesome. They make awesome lightweight backpacks that are for backpackers, for long distance hikers, um, who, because one thing you don't want is a big heavy backpack. If you're reading Backpacker Magazine and you're saying that the gear in there is what you need to get, you're wrong because they are all about large companies and how those companies um, make really heavy gear and you don't want heavy gear you want light gear because the heavier it is you got to carry it so the ULA circuit there's lots of stuff online about it um, one thing that, that I did was I called them